Good afternoon, everybody. I think if I've understood the program correctly, I'm actually standing in the way of you all enjoying a drink and a moment of celebration. So Thomas had prepared me a, a speech that would have lasted a couple of hours, so I'll keep it um, mercilessly short. Um, I must admit, when Thomas said to me, Simon, um, come and join me. Uh, I want you to come and see some of the work that E4 Impact have been doing and, and switch um, Africa Green. I, I knew it was varied, but I hadn't really fully grasped that this afternoon I would have the chance to meet um, Dennis and Chris breeding the Elliot Kipchoge variant of Kenyan cows. <laughs> I would have seen biogas. I, I would have seen dried mangoes, dried fruit, fantastic granola, cereals, um, lots of coffee. Um, chilies, um, fantastic wool products. Wow, well, what an impressive set of products you, you've all developed. Now, my only challenge is, I think, having eaten so much dried mango, uh, uh, chips with mango chutney with uh, sweet chili, um, I, I don't quite see how I'm going to manage to eat my dinner tonight, <laughs> but I'm even more worried that after trying every variant of coffee that Rose and the other colleagues have produced, I'm definitely not going to be able to get to sleep tonight. <laughs> but what I was thinking is perhaps I can spend the evening browsing the internet and ordering for my wife some of the natural cosmetic products, the essential oils and the fantastic blankets and Kenyan shirts developed. So. Um, for me, more seriously, this is a wonderful example of what the EU does best. Here we've got a fantastic example of a, a member state bilateral development cooperation, Italy, combining with EU funding, making an impact that is truly incredible. Because if I've understood you correctly, actually as a result of these joint efforts, we've got 1,300 sustainable businesses being supported in one form or another. 73% um, of which are owned by women entrepreneurs, helping thousands and thousands of farmers. And this is exactly what I believe very strongly we should be doing. And the reason I was ever so slightly delayed with my arrival was I was called at the last minute for lunch by State House in an advan advance of a meeting that the president is holding tomorrow with all the development partners. And they wanted to pick my mind on how can we combine multiple objectives in terms of promoting the Big Four agenda with development funding, driving forward a digital transformation, enhancing the protection of the environment, and at the same time, creating jobs, opportunities, growth, and a rise up the value chain for Kenyan entrepreneurs and Kenyan farmers. And I think in a way, you all in this room have answered that question far more eloquently than I was able to do so over lunch. And I think what's also particularly brilliant here is if one looks at the export destination of most of Kenya's products, but in particular agricultural exports, your primary destination is the European Union. And this is something not only do we welcome, we embrace, and we want much, much more. And it's people like you that are going to help us to realise that objective and at the same time with those exports, leading much more of the value in the, uh, in the Kenyan market. Now, one thing I wanted just to flag, uh, and I mentioned it to some of you um, bilaterally, uh, I mean, in particular, um, Switch Africa Green have a long history of working with the, uh, the Climate Change Institute down at Strathmore University, uh, KCIC. Um, and on Friday, actually, this week, we will be launching a five billion uh, Kenyan shilling new program um, on the agricultural sector, focused on how can we support Kenyan entrepreneurs to rise up that value chain it will be a mixture of startup grants for some of the really small companies combined with hand-holding, technical expertise, how to market your um, products, how to do a bit of marriage brokering, find exporters, uh, find markets in the European Union. And for some of the more established businesses, um, uh, sub subsidized credit, where also you're not being asked to prove land titles for your collateral, but actually the the, the worthiness of your business plan will be assessed. And I think having spoken to a, a few of you today from, from the lady who was currently 
uh, drying her fruit at the um, uh, at the Kenyan Institute or government-owned facility wanting to expand to people looking for more land, more, more <coughs> this is a wonderful opportunity. So keep your eyes peeled um, on, on Friday. And I think as we move forward, some of you may be aware that we have new political leadership in the, in the European Union. We've got a couple of big flagship projects that we're trying to drive forward. I would really flag three of them. One, we're trying to support a digital agenda, which also can incentivize the tech giants to work in the interests of customers. Um, we're also working on what we're calling a, a green deal, how we can promote environmentally friendly growth and mitigate the impact of the, uh, on the climate. And equally, Africa is rising up in priority. Um, we had on Thursday of last week what we call the College to College, so a meeting of the European Commissioners with their counterparts in the African Union. We had 20 European Commissioners travelling on to Addis Ababa, and I was proud on Thursday night to pick up from the airport here the Vice President, the Executive Vice President of the European Union, who was in charge of the digital agenda, Margarita Vestager, on her first bilateral visit outside the European Union, a demonstration, if you like, of our commitment. And what I think is fantastic is if we look at some of what you're doing, it very much fits in this whole agenda. So I would also expect in the next six months as we finalise our priorities for the next kind of budgetary period of the European Union, which is from the period the 1st of January 2021 to 2028, the kind of small, relatively small scale project and the fantastic impacts we've seen here, I think the opportunities for scaling this up and rolling this out at a much higher level are, are without any limits. So this has been a fantastic opportunity for me to, to meet you all. And I've got my shopping list for the trips to the supermarket and the online internet shopping for the next few weeks um, firmly prepared. Um, I think it's great to see this cooperation with the um, work of the Italian Agency for Development. Uh, I've been always since I arrived a huge fan of what Switch Africa are doing. So thank you very much and keep up this fantastic work. Thank you.